Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the topic whether you can make games without writing a single line of code. Now, let me actually get started by answering this question at the very beginning. The simple answer to this in today's age and time is yes, you absolutely can. In today's age and time, you've got all these powerful game engines out there, including Unreal Engine, which allows you to create almost triple A quality level uh, graphics for your games. And all of that you can do just by connecting few nodes here and there using the Blueprint system. So Unreal Engine itself is there. And then apart from that, there are a couple of other game engines as well that allow you to make games without writing a single line of code. Before I proceed ahead into this topic, for the pros and cons of visual scripting or you know making games without writing any piece of code, I want to actually plug in a sponsor for this video. So today's sponsor is Spawn School. Spawn School is a platform wherein you get to learn all these interesting game development courses. And they actually currently have a course on Unreal Engine wherein they will teach you how to make games without writing a single line of code. This will be conducted by an Unreal Engine authorized instructor and you will also get an official certificate at the end by MESC and IICS. And if you successfully complete the course, you will also get a guaranteed paid internship. So what are you waiting for? Join Spawn School right away. Use my code Nikhil, N-I-K-H-I-L to get 15% discount on the enrollment fees. Offer valid for a very, very limited time. Seats are filling up very rapidly. So check out their website. All the links are in the description and all the best for your game development career. Now, let's come back to the topic. Uh, there are a few pros and cons of making games uh, just with visual scripting, all right? Let's talk about the pros first. Now, definitely, you know, if you don't know how to write code, uh, making games without writing any code or visual scripting actually helps you build better logic. You can use blueprint system or you can use visual scripting to actually connect these code blocks that will also actually help you refine your logic and help you think in a technical term. Of course, this will actually limit you from actually implementing that in the rawest form. For example, you know, when you are uh, implementing these in code, you actually have to type every single aspect of it. Like if you have to write a simple if else statement, you literally have to write that if else block, right? Here in visual scripting, that entire process gets cut out. You basically get these pre-built blocks and you can just place them directly. Uh, this essentially helps you bring your prototype to life at a much rapid pace. So you don't really have to worry about syntax. You don't really have to worry about your logic pieces here and there. All you can do is just drag and drop these blocks and the logic will be ready for you. So it helps with faster prototyping for sure. Now, Let's also talk about the cons of it. See, if you don't know how to code, that restricts you from doing a lot of interesting things. For example, optimization or creating certain custom behaviors that are required for your video games, all right? So knowing how to code always most definitely helps, but it is not mandatory, okay? In today's age and time, all these game engines, as I mentioned earlier, are extremely powerful and they allow you to uh, make games within these frameworks without writing a single line of code, which is super beneficial for game designers, especially. So let's say, for example, if a game designer wants to create a very basic logic, uh, the game designer doesn't today necessarily have to rely on a game programmer to implement that logic. They can build that themselves. In fact, this can also be useful for artists who want to actually test out certain mechanics from their side after they create their piece of art. All right. So Definitely, there are a lot of advantages, but if you want to make end to end games, that is games ready from all the way from your zero concept to a finished product, I would still as a game developer recommend you to know foundational programming because that will genuinely help you in a lot of places. It will help you think of the logic in an even much more clearer sense, because when you actually type down all of those things, you hardwire your brain into thinking more rationally, more logically, and that in itself brings in a whole lot of value to your game. Like it is definitely possible today without writing a single piece of code, you can make a complete game as well. But I think from a programmer's perspective, that is just my reservation that I would enjoy making a game or writing down code. However, it's different strokes for different folks. If you feel that, you know, this is not your piece of cake, 
uh, no code tools have actually allowed people to bring their ideas to life without worrying about the technical aspects so i mostly look at this as a positive for the entire game development journey in general just exactly like, like how ai is doing for this entire field right now right like using ai you can rapidly prototype you can you know generate code snippets and whatnot and you know gone are the days when you actually have to wait long and long time to get certain output like i can't imagine what hassle it might have been in those days where uh, mario was created or road rash was created or midtown madness was created right people would have to be geniuses to make those kind of games because you're dealing with so many complicated concepts you're dealing with vector mathematics you're dealing with physics you're dealing with complex mathematical calculations it is generally like back in the days game development was just as complex as rocket science you would have to be a genius to make a game but thanks to advancements in technology as well as advancements in these game engines and other tools things have become much more democratized and today even for someone who does not know how to write code can make games but this also brings us to another part of the discussion wherein we have to consider the foundational aspect of it which means that your foundational knowledge of the pipeline needs to be crystal clear now it doesn't matter what tool you use you can use unity game engine you can use unreal engine you can use kodo you can use gdevelop you can use construct phaser python c++ it doesn't matter as long as your foundational knowledge is clear you can make any sort of game using any sort of engine if you have foundational knowledge completely clear then you can make any sort of game in that specific type of engine like if it's a 3d engine you can make any sort of 3d game in it if you know how to use it all right so that's basically about it with regards to no code tools so again reiterating yes you can make games without writing a single piece of code in today's age and time however knowing how to code is a great asset and if you know how to code you can basically conquer the entire world right but don't lose out on the foundational knowledge so that's about it for this video if you like this video hit the like button if you're finding my channel for the very first time i'm a game developer by profession i make videos on games and game development if you're interested in all of that information please subscribe to my channel and, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on my new videos so that's it for this video i'll see you in my next one until then take care